Hey, what's up, everyone? So welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share my experience how I edit raw photos on my iPhone. Oftentimes when I travel, I normally carry along my Canon just to take lots of photos about the places that I visit. The advantage of taking photos right from the Canon is I'm able to take them in raw files. As we know, we take raw photos because we want to get more dynamic range of the photos when editing. Unfortunately, raw photo editing is possibly done on the PC. Because transferring the raw files directly from the camera to your smartphone is impossible. And carrying a laptop while traveling is even worse because it's quite heavy. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to edit the raw photos on my iPhone. Hey guys, if you don't know me, I'm part of what make different videos on app review, unboxings, photography, and filming tips. So be sure to subscribe my channel to get more useful videos in the future. Okay, now without further ado, let's get started. In order to edit the raw photos on my iPhone, I have to transfer the raw files from the SD card into my iPhone. And to do this, I use this corridor. So all I need to do is just to insert the SD card into this corridor and plug this corridor into my iPhone. After connecting this corridor to my iPhone, there are three different options that I can transfer the raw photos from the SD card to my iPhone. Okay, so just for your information, if you are also looking for this corridor, I also leave the link in the video description so you can check it out later. So the first option, after I connect this corridor to my iPhone, I can simply transfer the files from the photo app. So just launch the photo app and then go to import section on the bottom right. As you can see, now all the photos from the SD card are being scanned. Just wait for a few seconds depending on how many photos are available on the SD card. When it is ready, I now can import the photos to my iPhone. While being scanned, you can identify raw photos by looking at this. As you can see, these photos are available in both formats, RAW and JPG. To import the photos, you can choose select here which means to select all the photos from this page or you can select specific photos and then you can tap on import on the top right choose import selected okay so the three photos now are ticked and then you will get this notification would you like to delete imported photos from the attached camera just choose keep now let's check the photos so you can see the three photos are here in my photo app Another way to get the files is to make a copy on the file application. File is the built-in app you can find on the iOS. As you can see when I launch the app, I get to see this untitled connected device. This is my SD card, so just go inside the folders and make a copy. On the file app, you can see all the photos are in separated formats, RAW and JPG. Look at these two photos, they are actually the same photos. but one of them is raw and the other one is jpg so to know which one is a raw or jpg is to look at the size of these images as you can see the photo on the left is 33.4 while the other one is only 2.7 to make sure if this photo is raw is to tap and hold down that photo and choose in four and as you can see this information the first one can Canon CR2 raw image. To make a copy of this photo, just tap and hold down and choose copy. Now you can paste that photo into your iPhone folders. You can choose any folders that you want. So let me just paste that image onto photo folder. So to paste the photo is to tap and hold down on the empty space and then choose paste. As you can see this is the photo so now let's add this photo onto the photo app so just tap on the photo and save image 
and now let's check that image on the photo app so here it is the last option because also what i love to do the most is to import the raw photos directly from the sd card to the adobe lightroom application which i can then start editing the photos right away to get started is to plug the card reader in your iphone and then launch the lightroom app then tap on plus icon and choose from camera device as you can see now all the photos on the sd card are being scanned okay let me select some photos and import them into the lightroom okay now 14 photos have been imported successfully now it's time to edit all of them well to edit the photos i just use my own preset so i go to preset i have iphone presets or the presets for canon and i have separated the canon raw as well as the canon jpg so i can just choose one of my presets and then just tick then my photos are ready to go yeah this is the before and this is the after before after before and after okay let's edit other photos so similarly i'm going to use my own preset so just select one of the presets let's say choose pm orange one so i will give away all the presets i have you guys can download all of them for free and when you have got all the presets what you can do is just to adjust the temperature and tint only because everything else is already set for you guys the reason why you need to adjust the temperature and tint is because we set the white balance on the camera differently some of you might go a little bit blue and some of you might go a little bit yellow so you need to adjust the temperature and tint in order to get the color and the skin tone you want or if you want to edit over my preset you can just go with curve adjustment so you can get what you really want this is the before and this is after let me just go very quickly to edit other photos okay so now all the photos have been edited so now it's time to export all the photos to the photo app just select the photos that you want to export and then tap on share and tap on the setting on the right you can see this is a place where you can turn on the watermark on your photo but the existing watermark features on this Lightroom app you can only add the text to the photo not the logo so if you want to add the logo you need to turn it off and you have to do it separately and you can check out my other tutorials on how to add logos as watermark on iOS and Android system let me turn this feature off because I have my own watermark I'll tick and export to camera roll certain photos successfully exported okay let's check all the photos in the photo app Okay guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next videos. Thanks.